Hello again, I wanted to record a really quick video and this is for everyone that goes to attach a really big handbook or a guide or anything like that to an email and it comes up and it says that the file is too big for you to attach to your email. So this is something that I find quite often um, with my cruise guides or um, any handbooks that are 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 plus pages. So this is just a really quick video on how to work around that so that you can send anything that you want to regardless of the size. So here we are in the Royal Caribbean Cruise Handbook which you can see is 34 pages. So after that you have gone through this particular template and updated, so you've put your logo here, um, you've gone through and added your picture, added all your details, contact, etc., and it's ready to go. You're ready to send it to a client. What we need to do is we need to come up to the share button and we want to click to download. Now the file type is what we want to change. So at the moment you can see it's at PNG, which is an image. Um, so we need to change it to PDF print. Now the reason that we want to go PDF print is because this is what I find will transfer this document to a PDF the best. Sometimes I find that PDF standard can um, make some images a little bit off or can change um, some fonts. So PDF print is the way to go. So we select that. Um, make sure that you've selected all of the pages that you want to. So um, sometimes you might just only be downloading one page. So just make sure that you've got this select all button ticked and then you want to hit download. So this is just going to download onto your computer as a PDF. Now, as it is, this file will likely be too big for you to send to clients. So what I recommend doing is putting it through a compressor and Adobe have a fantastic compressor and it is completely free to use. And it is one that I have used myself personally and it is just a really good compressor, plus it's free. So I will pop the link to this Adobe compressor um, as well in the video description, but here it is. And then what we are wanting to do is selecting our file. So just wait for that to come up in my downloads. It's still downloading. Just give that a second. Here it is. Okay, let's try again. Here we are, so our Royal Caribbean Cruise Handbook. We're going to select open. Um, we're just gonna leave it at the, um, the default that it has already selected. And we'll just give that a minute. Actually, I'm just going to pause the video until it's uploaded. Okay, so it's nearly finished. Now, uh, the other thing to note is that you can see it does give you the estimated size. Now, sometimes um, you may need to get this under 20 megabytes. And to do that, we need to run the file through the compressor again. So what that means is that once we've got our file and it's reduced down to 22, and then if we hit this compress button, then what we want to do is grab that compressed file and run it through a second time. So this will, this compression is only just making the file size smaller so that you can email it to your clients, but it will not affect the images. It will not affect the links or anything that is contained within the document. It just means that you can send it no matter what size that it is. So just got to give it a little bit of time to come through so you can see that here we are, our handbook is now ready to go. Our links and everything work. So, you know, we can click to open our links and everything. So that is um, how you go about compressing your file so that is a more manageable size so that you can send it to your clients. And the trick is often to compress it twice. So I hope that this video helps and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>